Asparagus, one of the oldest vegetables around. They're in Egyptian artwork from 3,000 years ago. Broccoli, not only a delicious vegetable, but I like to call it the James Bond vegetable. And if you don't know why, that makes my husband sad. And peas. The pea plant has an annual lifespan, which means it lives and dies in a year. What do all these ingredients have in common? They are going to make a delicious stage two puree for your baby in just a few minutes. What do we know about kids? They don't want to eat their vegetables, and they especially don't want to eat their green vegetables, which is why it's really important to introduce these vegetables early, because if you introduce them early, it's what they're going to crave later in life. First things first, asparagus. I'm going to cut off the ends. They can go in my trash bowl. They can go straight into my steamer pot, and that's already boiling back there behind me, so it's already ready to go for us. That was about four ounces of asparagus. Next goes in our broccoli. I did the pre-cut broccoli florets. You can feel free to cut your own florets if you'd like. That was about five ounces of broccoli. And lastly, one cup of peas. These are just frozen organic peas. Into our steamer pot we go. It should take about 10, 15 minutes. I go 15 minutes. Also back there is our pasta pot. We're only gonna be doing about quarter of a cup of dry orzo because it's going to double in size. So between these two things, it should be 15 to 20 minutes for you to sit back and relax. And now I know that you should never pick your wines based on labels. However, that's exactly what I did. I mean really, look how pretty that is. Pasta's done. Let's take this and dump it out over here. Let's check our veggies, shall we? Mmm, yum. After I make this puree, I'm gonna add the orzo. This is for um, an eight month old and above, if need be 10 months old. At this point, they should be chewing a little bit more, so I don't like to break that pasta down too much. A half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Now, we can't have salt in our baby food, but we can have this non-lactose cheese, and it's also gonna add calcium for our baby. And I'm gonna add this as I go, but here's just a bit of chicken stock. You know, if you really wanna make this good, you could puree it and throw it in a saute pan with some olive oil and some garlic and some chicken stock and a little onion. Have that as a family dinner as well. exactly this and I really feel like that's why I love these vegetables so much because I used to crave this pasta. It's so good. You can taste the asparagus, you can taste the broccoli, the parmesan gives it a nice salty flavor without the salt. This reminds me of being seven. Greens pasta! Never has eat your greens seemed less like a threat and more like a treat. Plus, it's really pretty. I love hearing from you, so please leave your comments on our blog or on YouTube or on our Facebook page or on our Twitter or on our Instagram. We're all over the place. I'll see you soon.